Happy Monday. How you doing? How was your weekend? Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had fun. Hope you stayed safe. We had a pretty good weekend here. Got a little more rain. Oh, however, it was not like it was in the previous days. Just a normal little thing. Not much wind, so. And it came and it went. But we had a good time with the people that we hung out with. We were the crew Saturday night. Uh, went to Cisco's this time behind me. Oh, I heard Sanford went back to the track. You know, whenever he goes to his track videos, that gets him some attention. He gets a few more views. He can make a few more dollars. He knows that's a good quick day. Even though, once again, every time he's been to a track, it's been a failure with every one of his fucking vehicles. You know what I mean? When he abandons them. Uh, <laughs> name one thing. One project that he made a claim about it was going to run this, it was going to do that. Name just one that lived up to it. I'll wait. The song, Jabba, 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 Chameleon. He fights and goes, he fights and goes. Hey, I'm still waiting here. Come on, name one. Huh. Maybe Border Rock is retired. You never got anywhere near that fucking tent and that's gone and forgotten. You know, that's a relic that'll sit there, another fossil. You know, that ain't worth shit. <laughs> I got a feeling that engine's fucked up. That's why he don't even want to make another attempt. He knows something bad happened the last time. You know, you got a drunk engine, you're pumping a hundred shot through that thing, man. Eh, you know, I think we'll barely survive one fucking run. It did, and now he knows, man. It ain't got no more left in it, you know. <laughs> That's why NT no time. It's the end of that. Playing knife out of space. You know, the Woody Woodpecker car. So many holes. Thing looked like it was attacked by a pack of angry woodpeckers on fucking meth. He's gonna run an 11 with that. Remember that with his slant six? When he got nowhere near that. That case, the car got fucking sold. Got scrapped and sold. <laughs> Gave up on that. Mazda Miata was gonna be an autocross car. He put that slant six in a Miata, the one and only that's ever done that. You know, hey, look at me. You know. <laughs> Like that thing was ever going to pass tech. With a wooden transmission tunnel, he hand fabricated himself. We can't do shit with metal. Maybe he's better at wood, right? <laughs> wooden firewall he made. His wife tried to cover up the transmission tunnel with some fucking 70s era shag cop or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, like that thing was ever going to be allowed into any sort of fucking event. <laughs> That got sent to the scrapyard. They never made it. To, like I said, name one fucking vehicle he's got there. He made a big claim on it was going to do this, was going to do that, and it actually did it. Name one. You cannot. In all these years, you cannot name one fucking thing. You know. When he's taking these things to the track, that gets him hits. And his views keep going down and down and down and down and down. Like I said, you know, yesterday. You know. Something, something right there, man. You got subs away to fuck up here. You got views away to fuck down there. Who are all these subs? Are they real people? But that's why he's so afraid of AI. <laughs> you know? YouTube will use AI to find out who's real and who's not. And all these people that are not real subs that actually, you know, subscribe to his channel, they're computer-generated numbers because you paid to buy them. They'll fucking take them away from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they can prove that they're... It's a fraud. That's why he hates AI so much. Not me, I don't give a fuck. I'm not worried about falling asleep at night and my toaster is going to come to life and try to strangle me with this fucking cord. I'm more worried about Auntie Billy fucking stabbing me in my sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, it gets some clicks, you know. So we went back to the track with the Jeep. This thing will get retired, <laughs> too. You know, it won't live up to his 13 second claim. Uh, from my understanding. It ran like a 1090 in the 8th, something like that. But he's saying that's good. He said, Brian, he said that's good. Because that's like a 15.5 quarter mile. And people are saying, oh, that thing will only run a 17, a 16, a 17. Look, it actually did better than people said. No, it didn't run a 15 anything. 
I ran an eighth mile. Now, run a quarter mile, show me a slip. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Like I've said, man, I'm sure a lot of you have had the same experience on the street, at tracks. A lot of cars, man, they can be real strong runners to half track. Three-quarter track already, they're starting their nose over there. Flat on their ass, you know, 100 feet before the time and all that. You know, and <laughs> lose a lot of time. I don't put a whole lot of credibility into a calculated time. I don't give a fuck whether you like hearing me say this or not. That's the deal. Run a quarter mile or shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear calculated. <sighs> but it's got more to do to it, and then we'll eat. Said the comments are fucking hysterical, Brian. How he makes excuses, he's got his pickle sniffers making excuses for him too. Oh, well, you shouldn't have run through the water. You probably carried water on the tires up to the starting line. That's why you couldn't get a good launch in. Talking like this, a fucking professional top fuel funny car or something. It's a fucked up Jeep XJ with a fucking four liter straight six in it. This ain't no fucking hot rod. This ain't no fucking race car. And that. And they're glorifying this thing as much as him. Sanford's got his pickle sniffers real fucking trained, man. Real fucking trained. You know? He likes that shit. Saves him the time of fucking glorifying himself and bragging on himself. He gets you to do it. And then when things die down, he jumps in and brags on himself again. To get You know? Amp up his crowd. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Well... I guess he's all done. I guess the MC Hammer kind now is fucking retired, right? <laughs> he gave up on that, too. <laughs> Why isn't he doing what he said he was going to have to do? Because, oh, yeah, he had problems with that. I'll come in and been working on that. Fix it. Get that thing to run quicker. I mean, come on, man. Get that thing to, to run the way it should with a 2,900-pound car with 500 horsepower. Come on, guy. This is the big-time car guy. You should know your shit, man. Why aren't you doing that? No, no, you're fucking around with a four... With a six-cylinder Jeep. Okay. <laughs> I think you all heard him when I said another claim. Made a claim of a 10. Eh, didn't happen. Made a claim of an 11. Eh, didn't happen. Made a claim of an autocross car. Eh, didn't happen. He didn't actually make a claim time of the MC Hammer car. Good thing he didn't, because that would have been eh, another fucking failure. <laughs> This thing will be a failure, too. He'll, he'll drag this thing out and milk this thing. You know what he's going to do, too? This will give him a good excuse. This way, Power Tour is going to be coming along. Oh, I didn't have time to get my, my charger ready. I've been too busy with the Jeep trying to dial it in. That's fucking funny. You know, this guy, oh, a big nitro. Uh, can't seem to get baby bought a rocket dial in. You know, with a fucking 318. <laughs> Couldn't get a fucking sweat six, you know. Playing knife out of space, gutted up. Couldn't get that dialed in. Can't get the MC Hammer car dialed in. Now, you think he's going to dial this thing in, too? This guy can't seem to dial anything in. And then his excuses. Well, this is part of the game, you know? Everything is trial and error. No, everything is not trial and error when you know what the fuck you're doing with cars, you stupid motherfucker. That's your fucking excuse because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Shadow claim to know everything. I would never say that. If I did, I'd be making a fucking fool of myself. I don't know everything. But I know enough where to keep my fucking mouth shut <laughs> and run my mouth about things I have no fucking clue. Alcohol, nitro, pro stuff. Oh, I'm going to jump in a conversation and tell them, oh yeah, you should do this, you should do that. I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Therefore, I have no opinion on it. I'll listen and learn from those that actually have something of any value worth fucking teaching and they have credibility to back it up. They can show me a few fucking trophies along the way. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll listen to these. That's why I listen to Bobby and his family and every guy at his shop. Back at the Stasco race shop. These guys are credible. Going back to the 1960s. So some people are worth listening to. Others you go, yeah, okay. Sam is one of those. Yeah, okay. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. That's always good fun. But uh, so this whole thing will get dragged out now. This will be an ongoing process. Hey, what about the mule car? What about that? What? All these different engine swaps. So he's got all these Hemis. <laughs> Another fucking distraction. This guy is nailed down to flexion and distraction and excuse making. 
Uncle Sanford has perfected it to a fucking pure science. <laughs> I got to give him credit for that. <laughs> Not everyone is capable of doing that. Anyway, I got to get going. I got some things to do today. Back to the VTH again tomorrow. And uh, hopefully spring gets here. Me and Kenny and the guys will get out on the road, man. We are itching, we are itching, we are itching. The fucking mother nature won't allow it, but it'll happen. A little bit of patience pays off in the end. It'll be worth the wait. So, hope you had a good weekend. Hope you had fun. Hope you stayed safe, and I'll catch up with you again this week.